Damn, man. It was so hard picking these items out, y'all. It was hard as hell picking these items out. I like the fall, all that stuff, man. Okay. I like the fall, all of that. So, now I finally got it. My top five fall essentials for men 2016. And hopefully my damn camera can focus. There we go. And, uh, yeah. I was almost thinking about extending it to top 10, top 7. But... I managed to get a few things to get my point across. Um, okay, so jumping off into it, I'm gonna just pick them up and drop them. Now, typical, typical, uh, camera losing focus there we go good the light even better um now typical uh you know typical fall essential you know jean jacket blah 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 all that stuff man i i didn't want to i didn't want to put that in there you might find that in my last fall essential or whatever but uh i just kind of want to go with a different kind of now this is just strictly a fall essential. It's not no winter. It's not no fall slash winter essential. It's no just the people that's doing it that way. But we talking fall. Strictly talking fall right now. But I will have a winter essential dropping when it's winter time. You know, because I got different clothes for different times of the year and stuff like that. So okay. Um, First one up, vest, and starting lightweight. This one is just already like a premeditated fit for me right here. This is a black Levi vest. Got this one at like um, Ross in St. Louis for like. 30 bucks or something like that. Usually these kind of vests cost like $50 or $60 or something like that because it's all Levi. But it shouldn't be too hard nowadays to find like a cutoff vest or whatever. So for this to already be a pre made cutoff vest, I actually did a good job at keeping the sleeves like frayed or whatever. So that's definitely smooth. Pockets. Typical vest wear so um because fall is one of the months i mean <laughs> the months when them seasons is hot and cold so i didn't really too much want to you know get get all the big stuff out i noticed that some of the big stuff that i was almost about to pull out is more like winter stuff so you don't want to be burning up in fall so it's like that neutral weather right now um now as the months go on Got a different hue. Got a blue vest, obviously. Again, you know, just a little quick go-to for whatever. Black, blue. When it gets a little bit more colder out, you go with the, uh, the I'm about to call it a pillow vest, but the bubble-like vest. You know, you could wear like a sweatshirt up under it or something like that. Um, you usually don't too much see fatigue uh, uh, bubble vest, so, you know, I definitely got this. But, you know, I strategically wear it. So, I watch what I wear with it. Maroon, burgundy, y'all know I like that. So, this is my number five vest in general. Um, another bubble vest. Obviously, when you're going in to a little bit more chilly or fall, um, hoodie on up under this or sweatshirt, whatever. Definitely clean. Look like you about to like go hiking. I like this wine burgundy color. Also got a brown one just like this, and uh, also can tighten it up at the bottom around the waist. And lastly, like one of my top uh, vests, this uh, this right here. 
Um, you can easily get these at the store for too much damn money. <laughs> but I actually got this one from thrifting years ago. This is a classic piece. This is one of the ones that fit me exactly. Navy blue with the corduroy on the shoulder. Um, corduroy is definitely one of those fall essentials as well. But that's one of the ones that's like a little bit uh, before. Um, it's a little bit more down the line, like between 5 and 10, because corduroys do factory. And that's the only time you can really wear them in a year. I think uh, one of my old, old fall essentials, probably like two or three years ago, was like uh, corduroy, short, uh, corduroy shorts. I still haven't really too much seen nobody do that yet. Um, I've done that a lot, uh, even still now, corduroy shorts. So... Um, me, I just don't have that many. I'll just have like two or three at the most, but I definitely like to get a few more or like get like better size into. So those one of them essentials I definitely wear. Um, my next one. Let's see. I actually put them down here on my, uh, tablet. Chino joggers. And what I mean by that is that you have like a chino-like material like this. And obviously it's a jogger on the ankle. Now this one, I got more colors than this obviously. But I got more fall-based colorways right here. I, I just wish I could have picked up on a navy blue one as well. Like this right here. Chino joggers, definitely something nice. Fly. And it's still like casual. You know, in case you don't feel like wearing like jeans or whatever. Got the drawstring on it. This is like one of the pickups I had like a year or two ago. And uh, man, I was just slowly going in Forever 21 and just picking up on every color in there. Only one I didn't pick up on was the navy blue one. And I wish I could have, but they didn't have my size when I got back. So, um, jogger on the jogger ankle. And the material is chino. Chino is a little bit more like of a lighter pant. A lighter fabric lighter fabric really my bad um, and uh, you know it just won't overheat you or anything in case you don't feel like wearing joggers right now if, if joggers like overheat you at the legs or whatever again we got a green all my fall colors are together gray green burgundy and I wish I had the navy blue so but it is what it is I'm happy with what I got olive green And then the burgundy joint. Definitely an essential for me. Uh, again, it's one of the ones you can wear casually. And just like, you know, it it's just like a Henley. It goes everywhere. You can lounge around in them, wear it casually, whatever. Next up, the bomber jackets. Yes. So I'm going to start off with a light one. Honorable mention to the utility jacket. This is a little too black to see, but this you might see this uh somewhat um in my winter essential or whatever like that. Just like as far as like wearing something light, but it's just too damn black to see. But yeah, that's one of them. But anyway, on to the bomber jackets. I just decided to show all my nice fall ones. That's light for the fall. I do have a winter, some winter bomber jackets, so I wanted to make sure I just didn't get bomber jackets in general out. Now, bomber jackets, that has been uh, one of the things that's been going across a lot of men's fall essentials as well that I know of. Uh, and yes, they definitely are still in uh, for, th for this one, for this year, for 2016. I got a nice olive green one I got from like 2013. This is from like H&M. Uh, it's more like of a satin nylon kind of like feel. So it's, it's about as light as a windbreaker, but it still has like more of that, that bomber kind of like uh, look. And of course, if y'all didn't know already, these are the ones I actually picked up this year. This is a bomber with like the suede and new buck. Um, definitely feels like a camel's ass. Same thing with this one, camel's ass. And then... Uh, as the months get a little bit colder, we uh, get into these kind of like bomber jackets. Now these is a, these are a little bit light, but they're still thick at the same time. 
Um, if you wear, usually I wear like hoodies under this or some kind of sweatshirt, but most of the time hoodies or something, just to kind of, uh, depends on the color I'm wearing with it. Um, green, obviously you can wear this in the spring or the fall. Um, so, yep, this is another one. Like with this one, I usually wear like a red hoodie up under it to make it pop. Kind of remind me somewhat of a Letterman in a way, but this is also a bomber jacket. This is a, uh, this green one, this was actually a gift from H&M. So in case you guys are looking for it, you know how H&M re-released stuff and had it like a different variation of it. Like maybe it might have a stripe on it this time or something like that, but. <clears throat> this one right here I got from JCPenney, it's Arizona. Got this one like a two years ago, a year ago or something like that. Crazy, me and my girlfriend, we definitely stalked uh, these jackets until the price went down. We seen it when it was up high, then we finally copped it when it was like 15 bucks a piece or something like that. So definitely a come up, um, clean. I like wearing red up under this to make it pop. This is more of like a collegiate kind of like jacket colorway. Crazy bomber, crazy bomber jackets. Another light one is this one right here. Y'all know me. I like the burgundy and everything. Got the little uh, buffalo on it. And this embroidery that say Southwest on it. And my bad, I didn't even show y'all the... Because this supposed to be like, I guess, a school theme kind of like thing. These ain't real schools. But, you know, obviously you can see the tiger on there. And it says uh, Mascarlo Tigers. This right here, like I just said, it says Southwest for the buffalo. I like the burgundy. I'm a burgundy kind of guy. Charcoal gray also definitely tones it down. You know, you don't want to have like crazy bright colors for uh for the fall. So that is it for the bomber jackets. Next up is the plaid shirts. Um this right here is one of the, definitely one of those uh one of those nice layering pieces. Um, this one is more so like a jacket. This is really, really like a layering piece right here. Um, Y'all know me. I damn near pick up plaids, almost the, my past my past few clothing hauls. Plaids is one of those things I definitely want to get up, or flannels. I want to uh, actually get up in my wardrobe, and uh, I just like them, man. Because I, I actually wear plaids and flannels year-round, but this one right here is insulated real good. This actually might make it also to my winter one as well, because you put throwing a hoodie up under this, you definitely be warm. So this is more so like the jacket flannel. <clears throat> um, and I'm gonna just show a few of my other flannels. This is a light flannel. You can still wear this in the fall. And I got crazy amounts, you know, same thing, buffalo plaid, you could definitely wear that. You know, y'all already seen this one before the yellow one. This was just some ones I just picked up on the fly, just because they was like in front of my face. But yeah, y'all get the point. Flannels, all day. It don't even matter the brand too much with me, as long as the, the plaid look good to me and I can work with it. I'm good. And then this is a nice little red Nautica one that I haven't brought out in like years. I just recently wore this and washed it and everything. So uh, honorable mention, before I get to my last one, also too, one more, one more time for the plaids. All right, but it's denim. Denim shirts, denim shirts. This one actually isn't a denim shirt, but this is a denim utility jacket. But it's damn near as thin as, as thin as a, 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 a denim shirt anyway. So this, but you also got pockets on it as well. That's, you know, and that, that brings in the utility aspect of it. Pockets at the bottom is literally like a jacket. And the, uh, you know, the way you're supposed to button it up is actually it actually buttons over the buttons so it kind of like not reveal the buttons but I actually like wearing this thing open I would probably wear this with like a hoodie personally uh, this might be part of that Beckham line or something like that so yeah 
Y'all should have already seen this though already. Dinner. This is more of a light dinner. Just, you know, a lighter weight. Uh, but yeah, you could definitely wear this in the fall. That one is actually from H&M. This one is from H&M. This one is from H&M, which is the utility jacket and a regular denim jacket. I mean, and, I mean, and a regular denim shirt. This one is just a regular Dickies denim. You know, I got different variations. And this, this is like from over the years of buying clothes. Also, too, got more of a light one, a light wash. I usually wear this one a lot, like in the summer. And this one is like a year-round one. But you can still also pull this off in the fall if you want to wear a bunch of blues and, uh, you know, wear like a dark blue but a light blue at the top, you know, so you can like play with the blues. You can also do that for the fall. And lastly, you got a heavier dark denim blue right here. So, yeah, definitely crazy. I like that dark blue. This is one of the last ones I recently wore as far as denim go, as far as like denim shirts. This is like one of my go-to. I like the darkness of it. I just wear a graphic t-shirt on up under a Henley or something. Crazy, crazy. Lastly, my number one fall essential is this one. Leather joggers. Crazy. Yes, yes, yes. You know me. I'm different. I like what I like, man. Uh, I want to get some more, though. I think I seen in a few pairs on eBay or whatever, but these I actually got from Rue 21 like a year or two ago. They probably look like a trash bag on the camera, but these are actually leather pants, leather joggers. See, you know, obviously you can't wear these in the summer really all like that. So the best time to probably wear them is the fall. Definitely in the winter, keep your legs warm. Now, it's not like that super real leather or whatever, but this stuff would do. It's by the brand Carbon. Um, leather joggers, crazy. They just don't make that many all like that to me. Um, it's kind of like how acid wash, acid wash, uh, acid wash, uh, jean joggers was. You know what I'm saying? Like a few people had them, but not everybody had them. Like man, they need to finish making this. And the contrast with this kind of like stuff, if you wear like a white sweatshirt with like the black, um, joggers is definitely fire. Um, so yeah, starting already in the fall. That's me though personally. I already break out my leather or whatever. I just love it. I like the whole aesthetic, the feel, the look, and everything. It looks almost kind of like that shiny waxed kind of like look already, and you already like fit it with like a nice top or whatever. So people is definitely not expecting to see something like this. You know, they might see you with jeans. That's regular. Everybody got jeans. They might see you with joggers. Everybody got sweatpants joggers. You know what I'm saying? But leather, it gets it gets no classic than that. So that was my fall essentials. I'm happy I kept it under 20 minutes. If y'all been sticking around this far uh, to actually see it, great. Stay tuned. I got more content on the way. Talk videos on the way. Sneaker rotations. <clears throat> new kicks <clears throat> all that on feet <clears throat> i need to get the hell off camera <laughs> peace